Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the Yamato campaign. Last time, we conquered the heartland of Yamato, which is to say the province of Yamato, and began the somewhat outrageous island consolidation mission, which has given us a few claims, which we are working our way through. <laughs> it gave us claims on all of the tags in three entire provinces, so we've got quite a few wars to get to. And we have started the ball rolling with an invasion of Yasu and our old ally of Omi. We've got our forces here ready to go. We just declared the war. I think we should go ahead and get to it. And we'll really quickly just double check and see how everything is going in the realm. We've got Yamato Kore at 33 years old. Uh, since we've looked at him last, he did gain good nature, which we mentioned at the time, still doing influence stakeholders. His wife, Yamato Magariko, is looking solid as well. No children yet, but I'm sure sooner or later this will uh, occur. We shall see. Other than that, in the government, everyone's loyalty is pretty solid. Uh, Sugano Matori, uh, his loyalty is uh, going to be difficult to keep up because this guy just has a lot of hostilities to the state. In fact, I wonder if it might be worth even replacing him. But then I'd have a disloyal family head, so I think it's probably more trouble than it's worth, even though there are some solid alternatives, and his family is con is more than content at the moment. Hmm. I suppose I probably can get away with a disloyal family head if I were to fire him. But then he'd also lose free hands, because free hands requires someone to be in a position where they could be corrupt. So I think we'll just leave it as it is. We've got plenty of PI per month at the moment, 2.05. That is going to be just fine. Otherwise, I think this all looks solid. Over in the researcher section, I think this all looks good as well. No need to second guess that. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, proceed. And I think we're gonna start by going for, let's see, Omi or Yasu. Which target would be the best target here? I think we probably want to see if we can race these guys over to Omi, although they're not gonna be able to put it under siege. What's the timing looking like? Okay, we're going to get there after them. Let's go to Yasu just to be on the safe side. I don't want to help them in their siege of Omi, even by accident. I don't think that I would do that, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's go to Yasu and start there. We've got our forces entirely raised. We did uh, lose one of our cohorts. The cohort math, as usual, is a little mysterious, but we shall probably gain them back from the conquest of these Wa territories. Also, our navy is still over on the Awaji Island port. Just kind of hanging out there on low pay. We have no need for them, but I will eventually use these ships for various purposes, so no reason to destroy them since I got them from an event. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed. Although first I will note, I believe at the moment I'm saving my PI to get the holy site going. I'm fairly sure that's what I was saving my PI for. And we've already done our noble sales. Yeah, that's what I'm doing at this point. It's been a few days since I played last, so I have to remember what I was up to last time. Fairly sure that's what I was up to. We want to go ahead and get the shrine to uh, Ameno Mina Kanushi going in our capital. All right, let's go ahead and proceed on speed three. All right, here we come. I'm just going to siege manually in case I can get a... Uh, a breach later, or I can get an assault going at the other one, as I'm going to probably lower and re-raise between the wars anyways. Okay, let's wait for these guys to move, and then we'll head north as well after we get this. Hmm. That farm in Shima is done. Too late for that previous mission, but if I hadn't uh, switched missions before, I would not even be on island consolidation yet, and then where would we be not uh, fighting these guys? That's the, uh, that's the answer to that. All right, so now we've got another two copies of fish, which is great, as we can now cancel one of our incoming fish copies. We're gonna have more than enough fish. We're gonna get the Freeman Happiness bonus permanently, which is phenomenal. I think one of the best things, one of the best feelings in this game is having a, uh, a trade resource that you really like for your capital be in your capital province. It just saves you on so much micro. Um, if only I could have stone in this, <laughs> in this province. I trade for stone on and off so often, but it was not meant to be. For now, the best we can do is trade for more livestock because it's worth the most. But yeah, plus extra food certainly doesn't hurt, so I'm not going to be too upset about that. Hmm. I think mean, these guys are out of here. That's fine. I still want to just work on Yasu for now. 39 day siege t 
politics is a little uh, little much. Them being city-states gives them a lot of defensiveness, so that's definitely a, a big part of this. Plus, I got a lot of uh, years of food supply all stored up. I suppose that's fine, although if they're having a shortage of it right now. Yeah, 57.5% defensiveness. That's pretty gnarly, but a uh, good thing we've got plenty of forces to just wh uh, whittle away at this. We could do an assault, but I don't think there's any serious need to. Plus, we only have about 1,500 men at full strength or so. Of course, we're taking a little bit of attrition right now. So, let's just uh, let's just proceed. <laughs> oh, whoops. That was a... Uh, that was a mistake. Okay, <laughs> that's a... Uh, Let's make sure not to have the uh, the army selected in the future. Whoops. Okay. Well, that's a pretty annoying mistake. That just wasted me about a month of siege progression. I thought that I clicked off that army because I was trying to trying to select my own country. Let me make sure I clicked off. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to double check and see if I've got any relations going. I don't. So I could also switch off of neutral stance, but I, I really just genuinely need to get the holy site going. I've got so many things I have to spend PI on. I can't. I can't just, uh, okay, well, we actually got a better roll this time anyways. So we could have, if we had gotten a status quo roll, if I hadn't done that, we'd actually be in the same spot, potentially, or even be behind. So it's not the end of the world, it's just a, a month or so wasted. They had a few days to scurry some more food in there, but it's not going to last them for long. All right, a few more months, and we're going to be able to get the holy site going. I'll just be glad to get it secured for my capital. Food shortage again? Okay, that's pretty good. Getting some good rolls to make up for my little misclick there. <laughs> I suppose this wasn't a, a very time-sensitive siege, so it's not too bad that that happened. But I do want Tonba to leave so I can get this sieged sooner or later. For now, though, I have to keep waiting. In terms of military experience, by the way, we have got uh, Hooksite. Hooks... Huaxia traditions, and I think that's actually it. I believe so, yeah. Food shortage again. Let me just have this be on the screen so I can keep an eye on it. Alright. Now, I remember looking at this in my test games, and some of these traditions are actually pretty good. We get a bunch of freemen all over the place, and some really good modifiers from this one here. Um, let's see what else. Four free province investments. Levy size multiplier bonus permanently. That's pretty strong. And these are, oh yeah, National Fort Infrastructure Capacity plus one is going to save me a lot of money in the long run. Yeah, some of these are definitely pretty good. Some of these are more oriented for the the Chinese mainlanders who have pikemen and light infantry, but I guess I've got light infantry in my levy at least, so it's not, not terrible. Could be worse. Hmm. Uh, my PI has gone down. What's going on? Got some disloyalty or something. Actually, I don't know why it's gone down. Ruler corruption. I don't know. I got sanctioned privileges going as well, so you'd think this would be getting taken care of. I guess he built up some corruption from a couple different events. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. What did I... What is, uh, what is Matori targeting me for? He's trying to befriend me. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Alright, um... This is, a. Uh, a nice surprise. Alright, Matori. I'm ready for friendship. I am prepared for camaraderie. I am not unprepared for association. Here we go. I was, I was thinking of more stupid ways to say the same statement in other manners, but you're all going to be spared from that because <laughs> the siege is over. The wait is over. 183 days. There we go. Okay, now... I'm just going to slide in here while these guys are out of the way to ensure I grab this. Probably going to do an assault. We'll see what the situation is like. But uh, I want to get this war over with, lower and then re-raise with what will probably be six cohorts again, because these are both WA locations. Oh, I just closed the pop-up when it happened, but I've taken control of the... Uh, I've started the siege, I should say. Also, PI is almost at 50. Okay, these guys are going to be here too, but that's not going to matter. Because uh, this is my siege. Yeah. They can't take it over even if they wanted to because they are not in my war. And they don't have the marshal anyways. Caught red-handed. Hauled in front of the court. Sagano Hakusun is a sorry sight. Caught with length of chain in hand. He is said to have been ready to strike down Nanawano Ekaga Sikohime. 
who is just some lady. Who is this? Is this one of my officers? I don't think so. Is this a researcher? No, it's just, it's literally just some person in my court. In a brutal act of violence. Uh, by the way, um, killing someone with a length of chain actually would be pretty brutal, so this is a... Sometimes some of these events are like, he was uh, caught red-handed with his signature weapon, his bare hands. <laughs> it's just like, okay. But yeah, uh, luckily, passers-by were quick enough to act and prevent this terrible deed. We now have the unenviable task of passing judgment on the wicked Hawkinson. Right, so this is my court philosopher. He's pretty good. He's also a family character. Let's see, trait wise, he's sarcastic, abrasive, proud, and he's got herpes. So, alright, um, <laughs> let's see. Um, loyalty with him would mean more PI. And I don't think this is an important character to have loyalty with. Yeah, I think, I think that um, although this guy is kind of a jerk based on his traits, and um, my character is a good-natured character, I think that we're considering the pragmatic needs of the realm here. This guy may be kind of a goofball and a attempted murderer, which is actually, you, you may be surprised to hear, a more serious offense than being a goofball. Um, but uh, I think that he's, his zeal is good, he's in a zeal position, more loyalty means more PI. We shouldn't be too hasty. It did go up as well, which is great. Always love to see my morally dubious actions result in good things for my realm. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing going here. Oh, we need we need the gold as well. Totally forgot about that. Okay, we're, we're going to get the gold soon. The chances of someone picking this god in particular in the next couple of months is fairly low, but knowing my luck with this game, <laughs> I don't consider it out of the question that that could happen. I guess I could do an assault. Let me let me get the first siege tick done, then we'll, we'll, we'll status quo. Uh, Alright, you know what? I think I can probably... Well, it's got a full garrison. These are just really long... Sie yeah, sieging city-states is just kind of miserable because of the 20% defensiveness. It just takes such a long time per siege phase. 34 per siege phase. Let's, let's try an assault and see if we can get away with that. I only have so many forces here. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, almost. Okay. Ooh, you know what? This is not actually very good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the completely undamaged cav behind. And then send the rest of my forces back into my territory, into Issei, I guess. Actually, no. Come to Yama. That's a much better idea. Recover in Yama, and then we'll come back in once we have the forces and probably get an instant siege win. So this is probably still going to be... Are they Are they going to get there? Are they going to get there after the tick? Oh, that's really annoying. It may, have to, it may delay things a little bit. But the siege had just started, so it can't be too bad. Alright. Reorganize in my territory. I'll just try to regain some strength. We just need to have a 2k minimum to get the siege going again, and then because of their very low... Um, garrison strength, we may win immediately, uh, or we could perhaps do another assault. Good thing the Cav don't take part in the assaults. I mean, if they did, then we'd have won the assault, but because they didn't, they're at full strength and they can hold the siege down, so that's fine. I got plenty of manpower. Can you, um, can you maybe recover your strength a little bit? You're in my territory. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait. Hmm. Alright, there it goes. It was just delayed for some reason. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to wait a, a few months here. But it was worth a try. We got really close, so I can't blame myself too much. This was a, uh, a feasible assault victory, but got some bad RNG. It happens. Okay, yeah, should be good. We're so close. Once we get into early 58... We should get enough uh, strength to get the assault over with. I'm also weary about um, the AI declaring. I mean, again, this is very hard AI, so they are likelier, as we've seen before, to declare wars kind of out of nowhere. Um, okay, this is enough. Back in you go, and we're going to just hope that we can get a instant kind of glitchy win, but we'll see. They're still stuck at 24, because I've not let them recover. Even though it's a little strange, because the idea of um, 
Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to give it one tick, and I think I might win. The idea of not having enough forces to progress a siege, but still allow them, still keep the siege in place. They're, like, if you think about what's happening here, in, in real life, if you siege, a, like, a complex or, like, a city or a, for, a fortress or in real history, and you don't have the numbers to maintain the siege, then they're just going to restore their resources, right? Like, the whole point of a siege is you either encircle them or you don't. So this kind of, here we go, yeah, this kind of like middle ground thing that's going on in this game where you can have the numbers to keep a siege from progressing, but also keep it from not, from like uh, being undone completely. It doesn't really make sense in a way. All right, the sacking of Omi, here we go. Let's only loot gently, because again, this is core territory for us, or uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, um, and with that, let's go ahead and get this thing over with. Okay, so only one AE. Ter Terran Domina has very uh, generous AE um, costs for wars like this. Yasu Mino to Yamamoto and Omi Mino to Yamamoto. Here we go. Alright. The Yaoyoi city state of Yasu accepts a generous peace offer. Yasu Mino. Oh, actually, we read this a moment ago. Okay. Oh, seven total. Numbers. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Seven months as well for the um, for the recovery of the levy. Okay. As for the buildings up here, I don't need. Actually, Yasu will probably be a city long term. So I think I will keep the fortress here. It's not directly adjacent to Yamamoto. It is close to it, but it's not directly next to it. So the fort up here can definitely go. This might end up being a farm. Actually, we'll, we'll see. Okay, and then the really important thing here, because this uh, this strategy I've got for this campaign of just fighting everybody, it's going to be very lucrative for uh, these reasons. So maybe not. Wow. Um, I'm going to set the bar at seven. I want to keep an eye on my tyranny. Right, that's that's justifiable. That's definitely justifiable. That is above seven. That is above seven. Now we have enough to get a holy site going in our capital, and I will do exactly that. Dedicate a holy site in Yamamoto. This will improve the associated deities modifiers by 25%, and critically this includes the passive modifier, which is not normally able to be increased. Omen power only affects the omen modifier, of course. Plus it gives this territory 10% local tax, which is phenomenal, on top of being stacked with the Great City of Yamamoto bonus, which is just crazy. Uh, one extra city building slot and plus 0.5, or sorry, uh, plus 5.0 migration attraction. All right, I am selecting Ame no Mina Kanushi, uh, which gives a passive monthly PI and Omen research points. There it is. Okay, and it is created immediately as well, which is phenomenal. Okay, and then we can actually put a treasure in here. I guess one's been put in here automatically. Put the Ame no Nuhuko in here, but I don't know if I want that to be the treasure I place in there. Um, is there... Is, two... is this right? I don't think this is right. Okay, um, anyways. I think I want to put the uh, Dotaku in here. Dotaku were distinctive yaoi bells used in religious ceremonies. The metals and designs used to make the giant bells came from smaller versions in Korea and China. Likewise, the metals used to make Dotaku also came from Korea and China, and were commonplace in Yaoyoi Japan as early as the 2nd century BCE, which we are actually earlier than that, so that's interesting. Let's deposit that. Okay, and then the other thing I can add in here, let's see. Okay, I allegedly also have this, but I don't know where this is. The Ama no Iwato Tapestry. Is this in some other province? How could that be? I don't have any other holy sites anywhere else. Where is it? <laughs> Where is that tapestry? What's it do again? 
integrated culture happiness. I mean, this is a pretty strong bonus, so I would kind of like to put this in my... Oh, it's in Shima? Huh? What? <laughs> How is it in Shima? There's no... There's no... There's no um, holy site here. Okay, well, it's in... I, okay, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we got a mysterious... Uh, we got the tapestry in the, the Shima fish farms. It's, it's tucked away there somewhere. All right, well, in terms of the other treasures I could put in here... Local civ level, this is great for Yamamoto. Or, I mean, uh, Yamato. Um, and then, let's see... The other treasure I can put in here... Let me just, uh, let's see... I guess I'll keep it... Oh, I think removing a treasure costs... Does it cost tyranny or something? I don't remember for sure. I kind of remember something about that, but I was able to replace it for free. I guess we can put the Ame no Nuhoko down here. Although, is this cohort starter experience for just this tile? Because I'm not going to raise my levy from y Yamato very often. Or is this for my nation? Like, what is this modifying? Probably for the tile. I guess I can put the Kusanagi here, just, just in case um, someone's sieging me. That attrition could be quite strong. The Heavenly Sword of Gathering Storm, Ame no Murakumo no Zurugi, or the Kusanagi, is uh, wielded by none other than, funny typo there, by the Kami of Storms, Susanoo. Susanoo was said to have found the sword in the belly of a giant serpent, and won't tell you why they were in there, and would give the, would give the sword to his sister, Amaterasu, in order to heal their relationship. Uh, returning the goddess of the sun from her retaliatory reclusion. Okay, there's some, like, deep kami lore going on over here. I'm all here for it. All right, um... Is this just locally in... How do I see the modifier? I might not be able to. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, province... But That's right, I remember. Uh, treasures are province level. So the whole province gets the civ bonus? Is that right? Hold on. Uh, province bonuses, local civil level plus 15%, hostile attrition. I will check. I'll check this after the monthly tick, maybe, but either way. Okay, so now we're waiting until uh, September of later this year. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed. All right, and the capital didn't move from Awari, which is great. I think building a city in Awari is probably my next goal here, but uh, I'm not going to have the money or PI for that for a while. I want to continue expanding in the Wa area. Um, I, I do want to unify this uh, Mino province, but I've got more Wa locations to get first. Piece over here. I think Wakasa is probably a good target because they're both. Well, actually, no, Wakasa's not in Mino. But they are in the Wa area. I guess I've got the last of the wa of the uh, the Wa from the Mino areas. Let me just check something really quick here. Um, culture speaking, at the moment there's not a lot of Aduma. You know what? Actually, let me conquer more Aduma if I have the if I have a good opportunity. Let me really just think about opportunity here. Who is allied with who? It's gonna be so much easier if I can just fight wars that are against alliances, but I guess I could, I could just declare successive wars and that would kind of accomplish the same thing. I want to link up the two sections of my territory by land. And just make it so that my uh, my edict is uh, having an effect further away. In more locations at once, I should say. Alright, I guess... Uh, I guess I could attack uh, Nukata really quickly. I guess I could do a couple small wars in succession with my levy, because there's no need to lower and re-raise if I'm not going to gain cohort strength from lowering and re-raising. I think I want to focus on just cleaning up Mino for now, and then turn towards the Wa areas. I think that's probably the way to do it. We have really good stability at the moment. And this is without um, divine sacrifice in effect. Hmm. But putting it into effect also would not hurt. 
Uh, growing friendship. Yama, uh, Yamato Kore appears to be developing a strong camaraderie with Sagano Matori. Uh, sometimes it can be advantageous to have friends watching one's back, but it is not too late to avoid this situation. <laughs> okay, I don't know why in the universe I would not want to be friends with this guy. This guy's been kind of a, a thorn in my side, so I'm happy to be friends with him. We're burying the hatchet for the good of Yamato. Uh, these old rivals are going to be friends. Splendid. That is phenomenal. Yeah, look at this. <sighs> Friend of Ruler, plus 15. That is... And also his uh, his uh, xenophobia ma malice went away as well. So I'm now going to not um, expel him from the government because he's my personal friend. I only run the most meritocratic states over here. Okay, so I can go for a martial perk. Um, I guess I will go for loyal generals uh, while he's ruler. Uh, Yamato gains uh, plus five loyalty of generals and admirals. All right, very nice. And then how are things going at home? Oh, okay, so my wife is pregnant. The game uh, incredibly doesn't notify me about this. Let me double check my notification messages. Uh, well, you know what? I didn't really mess with the AI settings, did I? I think all this is actually fine. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, okay. Craig. There's no... Is there no pregnancy child? I, wow, okay. I guess this game does... <laughs> I feel like this is a pretty important thing for me to be made aware of, but I guess I'll know when my wife gives birth. We shall see. All right, we continue. Yeah, because getting Mino under full control will give me the two province investments and open the door to this one, although this will be uh, not done for a long time. Okay. Plus, this gives me time to recover my manpower max. The other question is, do I want to actually go for the, uh, the Legion idea? Because this mission uh, does want me to... This mission tree does want me to have a Legion. And that permanent morale bonus would be really strong. Um, hmm. I think having a legion of 10 units is probably... Oh, we have a daughter uh, named Yamato Usiyama. Okay, that sounds fine to me. I also would be on board with um, setting up a familial marriage law, not for that reason, but because it has true equal gender succession, which is the approach that I prefer, honestly. Uh, it just makes everything easier. Um... This would be doable. Uh, let's see. It's just going to cost stability and PI. I don't think there's a super huge need to do this right this second. Yeah, because the, the other option would be Agnatic Cognatic, which allows for female succession, but only if there's no male alternatives that are younger. Okay. The, the issue as well with... Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, 2.50%, so we lose a lot of our levy strength if we adopt the Legion approach. We also have to have regional power status, which we will get in the course of this mission, so no need to worry about that too much. Three point four research, very good. I'm just going to save my money in PI for now. Let's just check every so often if we can trade anything other than a uh, sheep. Oh, we can actually, okay. Good thing I was just checking. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess we may as well trade in salt. It's the same value as livestock, but we'll at least secure something else. Reaching further into the distance. Speaking of which, what's happening on the mainland? Okay, Wei is fighting Lu, and they're allied with uh, Zi Zhu. Chu is also... Chu is fighting Song, okay. And Shin is not fighting anybody right now. The way she's going crazy. Uh, let's see. Ptolemaics have taken over the um, uh, Eastern Mediterranean coastline. Okay. Nothing too surprising for uh, eight years into the game. 
I think making this a city is also something I want to make sure I get to. 250, okay. 200 gold and 50 PI, to be uh, more specific. Yeah. Okay, it was September 19th. So we'll wait a little bit longer and then uh, get to it. The nice thing, too, of course, is that we can raise our WA levy from anywhere on the island, because that's all part of the WA region, which is great. So that's going to give us a lot of options. Oh, 19. That's right. Okay, so who wants to be conquered next? I'm, I'm going to let this war play out to see if one of them wins. I mean, probably not, because neither one can siege the other. That's going to be the recurring thing that I realize <laughs> over and over. I guess let's just raise over here and just start fighting people to uh, secure the Mino province. Okay, so let's start with attacking Nakata. Raise our army at Owari. 4k army, holy moly. Alright, we also have uh, half of it as infantry, which is a good place to be at. Archers in the back. Some portrait archers like have on the side either way. Okay, um, I can also do anabasis because I'm a kingdom. That's good to know. I don't think I need to do that at the moment, but I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's do skirmishing. Okay. You know what, I never actually lowered my army maintenance, but I guess it's fine now. It was only uh, seven months or so. Also, my fort maintenance should be... Uh, actually, I'm going to keep the fort maintenance on just in case. It's a very small difference if I lower it, but the benefit of me having it in case something unexpected happens, as again, very hard AI, they're more aggressive, we're going to get some weird war declarations where if I'm not in the right position, them being able to just ignore a fort could be a problem, so... Let's just play it safe. Our economy is doing just fine under the circumstances, so... Let's go for it. Declare the war to take Mino from Nukata. Alright, here we go. Gonna be there in a couple days. They should not be able to do basically anything. I don't even know if they're gonna raise their army. They might not in time. Looks like they didn't. Alright, well, that's fine. We're just gonna siege this manually. Or maybe not. Partial garrison. The problem is, if I do an assault... Oh, okay, here's the thing. I can do an assault and then recover my manpower in my territory for maybe a month or two, and then go on to the next war. That would speed things up. Uh, yeah, 33, yeah, all these city-state defensive bonuses. We should win this, no problem. Uh, let, me, let me literally wait one day to get the morale tick. Okay, there we go. Now let's do it. At the sacking of Nukata. This is a place that, let's see, four population. Out of concern for depopulating, I'm going to... I can probably get away with Rome freely. Who do we have here? If Especially if the noble and citizen are killed, that would be better for provincial happiness. Let's, uh... Okay, this, the citizen got killed, so that's... Okay, that's fine. So we have uh, won the war, so for peace... Give this to me. <laughs> the war was so quick and brutal, our diplomat that showed up to declare the war hasn't even come back yet, so we have to wait a few days. <laughs> well, I suppose that's a, it's kind of a suffering from success situation, so I guess we'll just wait a few days here for October 19th. The Yaoyoi city-state of Nukata accepts her generous peace offer, Nukata Mino to Yamoto. Alright, now this place here is citrus, which means probably a fruit location. Er, obviously it's a fruit location, probably a farm location. <laughs> there we go. This fort can go. And uh, now I'm in my territory. I could just attack you if I really wanted to, and I think I kind of do really want to. I can probably just slide in here right away. I mean, partial morale. I mean, they might raise, what, like 500 men that all get stack wipe, and then it's not going to matter anyways. Let's just go for it. No time to waste. Take Mino from uh, Hano Kuni. All right. This really is like Total War Shogun 2 now. <laughs> just uh, one by one. <coughs> one, by one. 
Okay. And then... Eighth of eight. Okay, we actually got to eighth cohort, but when I raised, I wasn't paying attention. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Also, let's go ahead and release you, but for you. I guess we'll release you too, sell you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Oh my gosh. <coughs> you ever just sneeze one time? Because I don't. I always sneeze in like a pair of, or sometimes three. <coughs> Also, on top of everything else, prosperity. Uh, under the guidance of Atai Isakawa, Yamato has gone from strength to strength. Some of our advisors are now recommending the institution of a new tax in order that the national treasury might share in this prosperous era. Okay, six stability would be really good, but 15% national tax for five years is also really good. And this guy's personal popularity is below zero in the numerical ranking of how much I care about it, and we'll decide things based on it. So, taxes, surely nobody will notice. Alright, that does help a little bit. Okay, also the fort maintenance is going to become a problem, but we will uh, build up our economy around that as best we can. Alright, um... Fortress under siege, there we go. Same situation, so let's just build up our morale and uh, see if we can get away with a little a little assault, maybe give it one more month. Petitioner approaches. A strapping young adult by the name of Sagano Okada approached our High King in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future, in which he was found by his loved ones, having been murdered by a slavering maniac. With shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our protection. Ooh, okay, 119, which, given our current income, is a huge amount of money. And loyalty with our high priest, which I am on board with, because that's more PI. Or three stability and even more loyalty. Honestly, although I do want the most PI possible, this is a lot of money. And we're going to be able to start doing, um, start building a city in, um, in Awadi if we do this as well. How awful, we shall take good care of him. I will safeguard your money for you, good sir. Let me show you the way to my bank vault. You can deposit it right in there. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Just get the 50. Hold on, wait. Was it 50 PI? Yeah, it was 50 PI. That's right. Okay. Supply shortage. Okay, um, let me wait for the tick, and then we're going gonna to do our thing. Uh, let's, uh, I probably have enough. Alright, let's just, uh, see what we can get away with. I mean, what am I talking about? I absolutely had enough. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so nervous about doing assaults now. Okay, um, what's the population like? I think it's the same deal here. Okay, fingers crossed that the citizen gets killed and not the tribesman, because the citizens of the wrong culture are going to be much less happy. Although, overall, I don't think my Mino province is in very bad shape loyalty-wise, so it's probably going to be fine either way. I suppose I shouldn't be uh, too worried about that. It's uh, Because of my very good stability, things are definitely under control. Let the men roam freely. Alright. That's fine. Okay, here we go. I will be taking this, thank you. Alright. The Yaoyoi city state of Hano Kuni accepts our generous peace offer. Ah, very good. Alright, um, who's next? Well, first, over here. This could actually be a city location as well, to be honest. Plains on the coast isn't a terrible spot. It's not going to be as good as Awari, because it's not going to have the colony bonus or the pirate haven bonus. But it's still not a bad spot, and Mino as a province is actually... I mean, Yasu, Awadi, and Honokuni are all solid spots um, for different reasons, but the rest of the province is mostly hills and mountains, so this is probably going to be a fort that I keep, just preemptively. Although, money-wise, yeah, now we're having some trouble. Hmm. I mean, 
I, I need to build a lot of cities, keep in mind, for my mission, so I may as well. <laughs> I mean, Mino is going to be part of my core, just because it's so close to Yamato. And in Yamato, right, obviously the Yamato um, location itself is a city. Iwa will be a city. But other than that, there's not a lot of great locations in here, in this actual province, for cities. Because I don't really like hill cities that much. So yeah, I think I have to... I think I have to have a lot of cities out here. Alright. Okay, um, let's see. These guys have allied... Oh, perfect. These guys have allied with Rakasa, so that's a two-for-one deal. But I also want to finish off this province before I go into this other province too much. What's going on over here? These guys are still fighting uh, Makuni. But they're f this is actually their force standing here. I could just declare war on them and just slide in. I think I should probably do that. Let's head up to Toki and uh, recover on the way over. How am I doing uh, Splendor-wise? 177. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, unlocking this would be handy. I don't remember exactly what transitions this. Uh, keep in mind that with Terrandomita, the Timeline Extender mod is also in effect automatically, so this game doesn't end with the sort of historical date of the beginning of the Roman Empire, but rather the end of the Roman Empire, so we have uh, a lot more time as well. I think we can definitely get... Um, Great power status. Probably we can get Metropolis pretty easily. Well, easily by, you know, mid-game standards or by later in the game standards. Legion with 15 is doable. And 10 academy buildings with all the cities we're going to be constructing is also doable. So let's head up. Also, let's not forget. <coughs> okay, let's do this thing here. Now my tyranny is rising quickly, but more tyranny does mean less AE. Well, it means faster AE loss, so that does have a silver lining to be sure. And otherwise, you know, the other problems with tyranny, provincial loyalty and loyalty of characters, so far, not a problem at all, thanks to my really good stability. A little bit of tyranny never hurt anybody. As long as you just don't check any of my previous campaigns, where it hurt me quite a bit, <laughs> because I didn't keep my tyranny under control. But, uh, you know how it is. All right, let's head back up to Toki, or head up to Toki, rather, for the first time. And we're ready to do the city in Awari once we've got the, um, the PI for it, so let's proceed. Could also do a law change as well with the PI, but I want to save for that. All right, how is uh, Usiyama doing? So far, so good. Also, uh, someone on a previous video commented about reminding me to ensure that my characters are, are trained, my children are trained, so that I can min-max their stats, which is something I will try to keep in mind. Already as a one-year-old, by the way, she's got blood of Yamato, which given that she's got two Yamato parents, makes a lot of sense. And she's the firstborn. All right, that's good. Mm. These guys are walking away, that's fine. I know that we're in the mountains, so I don't know if this will affect our recovery. Apparently not. Maybe because it's my mountain tile, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I probably have enough strength just to attack them. Declare the war and take Mino. Alright, here we go. And then we're probably just going to declare on Hida right afterwards. No reason to uh, delay it. We still have just about a uh, uh, positive treasury right now, which is actually pretty impressive, with uh, technically four fortresses, one of them being the capital one, is, not, is uh, paid for automatically, so that's pretty good. All right, this one we're going to siege out manually, at least for a fair bit here. Keep an eye out, though, for a breach. Okay. How are we doing... Uh, Oh yeah, we are doing very good. Oh my gosh. These ratios are crazy. That's pretty good. Alright, that is pretty good. Over here, our tribes are promoting up nice and quickly, except for here, of course. I think 
building additional um, districts would also be called for, but I don't really feel like I have quite enough money to do a ton of this quite yet. We'll keep an eye on that, though. Once we start to run out of more room for more nobles, just from Yamato by itself, we'll... Uh, y Yamato by itself, then we'll build uh, some of those. Alright, uh, Futakata actually conquered a second territory, which means they're not going to have the city-state defensive bonus, which is great. Food shortage... Uh, my numbers looking like. Let's let's give ourselves a few more ticks of recovery, maybe another month of recovery, or half a month, in terms of the actual monthly ticks, as opposed to the siege ticks that are offset. I could probably use a mercenary company to actually uh, fight multiple wars simultaneously with my levy and the mercs separately fighting in different areas. That would speed things up, but... I want to be as efficient as possible with my money. And it's not like I'm in a rush to race against some other AI on the Law Islands. Like, nobody else on these islands will ever uh, by themselves challenge me. It's only if there's a defensive league of large size or a mainlander shows up somehow and decides to get involved. We shall see. In good hands, the ongoing war has taken up most of the attention of High King Kore as he leads our armies to inevitable victory. While Yamato does have bureaucratic momentum, there are many issues that await the capable hands of the legitimate monarch. In the absence of the High King, Consort Magariko has taken on some of her of his responsibilities and is doing her best to address the most pressing concerns. Commendable. All right, very nice. I'm always on board with this. Also, more loyalty with my wife works for me. Soga wants access. Who? I'm like looking for them. <laughs> Oh, these guys. Who are they fighting? Why do they need access from me for their war with Izu? No. I'm not going to give these guys access. Yeah, there's a time in real history where someone from over in this area walked through someone else's land and it didn't go well for the people over here. If you know, you know. So I'm not going to even mess around with that. Alright, uh... I can probably... Let's just, let's just do a little bit of this. A little bit of that, you know. Maybe I can't, probably. Come on. Okay, well, that one. There's only one more to go up here, so... Actually, no, there's two two more to go. I got plenty of manpower. We're, we're fine. Alright. Um, what's the population like? Let the men roam freely. Okay. Let's take this deal. Okay, the Yaoyue city-state of Megatu accepts our generous peace offer, Megatu Mino to uh, yeah, Yamato. Alright, so we're just going to hang out here for a bit, and uh, first of all, this is not going to be a fortress. Get out of here. We're just going to, I think, reorganize for a little bit here. We're in our territory so we can regain our food. Then we're going to see if we want to attack Motosu or Hida next. Probably we won't attack Hida next, but that's mountains. What's their... We know what they're on partial right now. I still... Let me recover for one tick, and then we'll we'll go. Really, this is a... Uh, you know what? Even even on part... No, on partial, this should be okay. Uh, what do I have? About 900? I think I have about 900 total infantry... Against 250, well, let's see if they raised in reaction to me. No, they didn't. I mean, without the morale, let me give it one more month of, of recovery, then we'll reevaluate. No reason to do anything hasty here. Do I have any more things in my treasury? I do not. Okay. All right. This will do. Take me now. This is a long march as well, but we're going to stack wipe them if they raise when I'm arriving. They probably shouldn't do that. I guess we'll see what they do. Right, we've arrived. And they are on partial. Good. 
Uh, yeah. We should win this. Just about. Actually, yeah, wait, it wasn't even that that close. Okay, um, what's the population like up here? Three? Okay, let's let the looting be gentle. No need for any issues there. Sue for peace. I would like this. Oh, <laughs> we have to wait until May 31st. Oh, fair enough. I guess in the meantime, let's head down here and just get ready for, for this situation. Alright. The Yaoi City State of Hida accepts her generous peace offer. Hida Mino to Yamato. Alright, and then... Did I... Do I have two sets here? I may have two sets. I'm losing track at this point. Either way, we will uh, go through the motions here. Standard approach. No, not you. Yeah, I think we have two sets here. Whoops. Well, I remembered sooner or later. Alright, um, the city in Awari will be, what was it, 200 gold? Okay, so we can spend a little bit of money. Let me see if I can reach more people yet and cancel one sheep. No, I cannot. Okay, never mind. Uncancel my sheep cancellation. Okay, um, what do I want to build here? I think... Am I gonna get? Am I gonna start messing around with uh, pop desired ratio yet? That's the real like meta for city infrastructure is manipulating pop desired ratio. I still have more noble ratio available, which is just wild. But I can definitely still add more preemptively. percent. Yeah. We're gonna hit our cap pretty quick here. All right, let me add in, um, actually, you know, I could also add a farmer's market. This is expensive, but it builds actually kind of quickly at one year long, and it gives me 20% local monthly food modifier, and the sib level is great too. Although I have such high sib level here. Yeah, there's that 15%. Let me check that it is provincial. Oh, it's not actually, it's just locally. Okay, that's fine. That's no, no big deal. Um. I don't think this is a huge priority right now. Let's build, uh, I can probably build, I can probably queue up two noble districts for more noble desired ratio. Although there's probably other things that are more important to build as well. Nah. I'm gonna hit my uh, 19, my 18% noble ratio pretty soon here. I'm only, I think I'm at, or it might be I'm, I, I have 19% ratio I think I have 90% optimal ratio, and I'm currently at 18%, so I need to increase this preemptively. I can get away with, uh, actually I can probably get away with building all three. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be able to get back up to 200 without too much trouble. And actually, I can get back up there right away. Yeah, this fort can go. Oh, here we got stone up here, that's good. This I can get an internal stone trade going sooner or later. Alright, um... As for what's next. I could just declare right now, couldn't I? But I want to recover for this tip. Alright. This is still a stack wipe. Let's go for it. Declare the war against these guys to take Mino and then bring in Mikasa, which is great because then that opens the door for my invasion in this direction. So this is a perfect uh, positioning here. Here we go, and then Wakasa is standing here on their allies' territory for some reason. They will get obliterated. Should just be a nice, easy stack wipe. Guess we'll see. There's the stack wipe, very good. Partial garrison, but it's uh, it's like a little bit more than a half partial, so let's just wait. Also, we just need five more PI, and we're going to be in the clear. my daughter doing? 
Very good, growing up. Good idea, that's a great plan. Looks like uh, Yamato Mati is considered the primary heir. That's probably why he's a... Uh... Hmm. Eh. Wouldn't be the worst. No, actually, he would be the worst, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> I probably do need to actually um, make my daughter eligible for succession. Just to be on the safe side. Not, not now, though. This, I'll do this next after I do the city in Awari. Because then I can also build a, a port in Awari and have my navy actually be in a port that I own. <laughs> which will be a good development. <laughs> uh, Alright. Come on, give me a breach. Supply shortage is fine. Uh, I'd win this breach. Or, I mean, I'd win this assault. And I guess that's what I really care about. So let's uh, get this going. I just know 65% defense on this. Holy moly. Alright. Uh, what's the situation here? Oh, two. Let the looting be gentle. The gentlest looting only here at Motosu. Alright. Um, come to Omi and actually recover in Omi. Maybe for a month or two. And then we'll head up to Wakasa. You know, Wakasa's actually attacking these guys over here. Hmm. That's going to be too bad. But they only grab this because this is unfortified, so... Let's just recover for maybe a, a monthly tick, then we'll head up to their capital. <sighs> okay. Then we'll be getting the two provincial investments for free from taking all of Mino. And I'll have to decide what to use this for. Probably provincial trade routes? Hmm. I can't reach very much right now, but I will be able to later. So it's, I think it is still probably good to invest in the future with the provincial trade routes. But I'll, I'll see exactly what I think it makes sense to go for. Okay, they got a full garrison. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to siege this one manually. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm a little late. Let's go ahead and get a city going in uh, Awadi. There it goes. Two years for that. May replace the rice with something else. Hopefully it's like glass or something else really valuable. We shall see. Approaching the 10 year anniversary of the campaign beginning. Very exciting. I think things have gone pretty well, wouldn't you say? <laughs> a grand festival and a stunning display of generosity. Okada, a well loved member of our religious institution, I believe this is my high priest, there he is, has commissioned a grand festival out of his own pocket. Superb! Two years of 5% wa happiness. I'm on board with that. We've got pretty good stability this game so far. I'm pretty happy with that. All these various bonuses and modifiers we've gotten from our crazy missions have definitely helped in that regard, so can't take too much credit. All right, Maybe after the monthly take we can get away with a assault. First noble district in Yamato is done. Very good. This now means that we've got 22% desired final desired ratio in Yamato, which is great. What's our research rate like? 3.4. Slowly getting a little bit of research, but we'll eventually have quite a bit more. It's just a matter of time. Um. Uh, no. No. All right, first of January, four sixty, and this is also not only an omen year, but it's also a war council year. So we're going to get to that in a moment. I think it may make sense to let's see. I do have Papa Simulation going in one location, so going for Zukiyomi wouldn't be the worst idea. But there's a number of good options here. What's my popularity situation like? It's probably pretty high. Yeah, it's really, really good. 
I mean, I have a lot of decay because of just how high it is, because it always tries to trend back down to uh, 50. But under the circumstances, I think going for pop stimulation speed isn't the worst idea. What's my? Let me just let me do some thinking here. Let's see. I'll do it like this. All right, so there's no assimilation happening in these tiles, but all of these tiles have assimilation going, including this one. I could I could min-max this by moving non-law slaves into these tiles for even more assimilation, but it's not it's not worth the money to do it like that. I think we want to go for. Um, well, okay, here's the thing. Like, once this assimilation wraps up, um, I'm, I'm conquering mostly my culture area now, so the assimilation, although it wouldn't hurt, it wouldn't really be super critical right now. I think in the next five-year tick, when I'm probably at that point going to be conquering further into the Aduma areas, assimilation will be better. I think actually going for monthly ruler popularity gain again isn't the worst idea. Or population growth. That wouldn't hurt either. How much is 0.07% going to be? Let me look at Yamato as an example. This place is going to have much more growth than most other places, but just to see. 0.31%. What about some other locations? 0.15. So the, the growth god is like half the value of many tiles just by itself, which is actually quite strong. Again, thanks to my 130% omen power, which open temples is reducing quite a bit, honestly, so... Let me go for Sore to get a bit of extra pop growth. In this period, as I've said before, Wa is actually fairly low, like low density in terms of population. So I need more population to work with to achieve my goals. So let's go ahead and worship Sore. Sore is the concept of ancestor worship in early Kodoism. Sore could uh, become not only spirits and protectors, but even elevated to Kami status, very specifically Sore refers to those ancestor spirits that which are remembered on a specific date of the calendar, like a holiday or a memorial day. All right, there we go. Even more pop growth. Very nice. And then let's not forget we can do a war council. Although I don't know what the War Council will accomplish, given that we have claims on everyone around us, but maybe they'll give us a claim on someone over here who we don't have a claim on. We shall see. Alright, the Shroud of Evening falls on the magnificent palaces of Yamato, as three silhouettes appear at the door of the royal audience chamber. Tobei, known as the foremost military mind of her nation, this is my marshal. Okime, a, ca a cunning yet cautious leader of men, this is my master of the guard. And Okada, no, thought by many to speak with the will of the gods, this is my high priest, file into the palace chambers, each determined to influence the Yamato court in their own manner. Over the course of the evening, Tobei becomes vociferous in his opinion that Suwa ought to feel the might of the Yamato armies, and to the surprise of many, Okada has begun to agree with this method of thinking. Um, Okame obstinately continues to promote her own agenda, insisting that Futaku Futakata is ripe for conquest, citing her large network of informants in the Futakata countryside. So, I mean, Futakata is someone I already have a claim on. Wait, are they? Do I don't have a claim on them? Hold on, wait a minute. I guess I don't have a claim on them. Huh? How is this the case? Okay, Inexplicably, I, these guys. Oh, you know what? You know what the reason is, is that they're in the the um, Kaga province, which is not what my yeah. Because I got claims on these provinces over here. That actually explains it. Which means actually the Futa, Futakata claim isn't a bad idea. Um, this gives me loyalty with the currently least loyal character. This is going to be a net PI loss, very slightly. But I actually do need a claim on Futakata, which I previously mistakenly thought that I had a claim on them anyways, so this wouldn't actually be the worst thing to uh, to have. Or I could go for this and get the claim on... Oh, no. Oh, Sue was this one here. Um, I think Futakata is a better target. Let's say, uh, stand with Okime 
ready the armies to march for Futakata. All right, PI probably was reduced very slightly, but it is what it is. Um, how are things going with the spouse? 69 loyalty. If you know, you know. The influence stakeholders is still ongoing. We're halfway through now because it's a 20 year ambition. Okay, I think our next expenditure PI wise, because we got a lot of stability banked up, we don't need to do uh, sacrifice right now. What I think I want to do next is get familial marriage going just so my daughter gains succession support from everybody. So there's no funny business with, uh, in case my character, my king dies, you know, he's leading armies around all day long. So it could happen, you know. Then if he were to die, we'd have a bit of a problem for many reasons. <laughs> okay. Um, and I don't know if I need the fort maintenance. I think I, I think I probably actually don't need the fort maintenance at the moment. It's expensive, but reducing fort maintenance won't really reduce it by that much. I, I'm going to keep it going just to be thorough. Other than that, I think I've looked at everything I wanted to look at for the 10 year period. We're good to go ahead and resume. Let me also uh, try to bring my infantry out. The cab should keep it going for one tick. You guys slide out to Omi and recover for the monthly tick, and then we'll slide back in and have a bit more infantry strength. Did what I meant for it to do, but that's fine. Come on, show me a breach. Oh. There was just a trick of the light. A little optical illusion right there. is getting brutal. I, I, I just don't know. Let's give it one more tick. And we'll see. Oh, you know what? I'm out of manpower. That's why. Ah, that would explain it. I have not been paying attention to my manpower situation. I'm out of manpower. Okay. That's fine. At least I regained some morale, so. Actually, no, I didn't. I already had full morale. It was uh, for naught, as it were. All right. Without manpower, I'm actually a bit scared to do an assault. I want to. I want to finish off Futakata, and then maybe at that point, because then I'm at the edge of the province here. Then maybe lower and re-raise after that. Are these guys Wa population? They actually are, but not a whole lot. I still incredibly have zero war exhaustion, which is a little absurd, but <laughs> what can I say? I'm good at the game. Uh, Hatano Oroku, who was my old uh, family head that uh, came into power when I became a regional power, died of a heart attack at the age of 83. He was the head of the Hatano family and a friend of the High King of Yamato. Rest in peace. Hatano Oroku, who died of cancer, it looks like. Okay. Well, he died of a heart attack, but he had cancer. Who is the new family head for that family? Looks like it's Hatano Toda Nosukune, who is my researcher. Alright, that's fine. Actually, I can make it even more fine. Actually, no, he's as an as a researcher, he's not gonna give me any any of this, so never mind. False alarm. Sogo wants access again. No. It's not happening. Alright, come on, just give me a breach. Then I can comfortably do the assault, and uh, my life will be much improved. Defenders desert, that's close enough to a breach. Let's do an assault. Come on, please. Please, 
no funny business. Alright, this business is not funny at all. Yes, there it is. Also, Noble District was done right at the exact moment the sacking of Wakasa occurred. This is Wa territory, so only gentle looting will be tolerated. 261 days. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this thing over with. And this will finally unite the two sections of my country, which will be great. Alright, Matosu Mino to Yamato, which will mean the entire Mino province controlled for the two provincial investments. And Wakasa Kaga to Yamato, entering the Kaga province for the first time here. Alright. There it is. The Yayoi city-state of Matosu accepts that peace offer. And... As for these territories, this fort can go. This will be an iron mine, most likely. What about over here? Hills? This will probably... Well, it's not going to be a fort. I know that part for sure. Actually, over in this province, where would the best place for a city even be? It's just all hills. Hmm. Ugh. Alright. Um, I'll have to figure that out. Possibly Futakata? Just for its location. I'll, I'll figure it out later. I don't, yeah, I don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. With my manpower situation here... Well, first of all, let's do up north. We are uncomfortable with the growing power of the northern barbarians. And rather than letting them accumulate their strength, we've decided to put an end to their delusions of grandeur once and for all. Two free provincial investments up north. Alright. How quickly the provinces of Mino and Yamato capitulated. Perhaps the information fed to us by our scouts was incomplete, but one can never be too prepared when it comes to matters of life and death. When presented with the reports from our generals, uh, Yamato Kore dryly noted, when it comes to the people of Ulan Zuk, no undertaking is too great, no price too steep. I willingly sacrifice everything that is mine in order to protect my own, and make no apologies for what I have done. I give freely to my people who have given everything to me. Alright. So this one's not going to be done for a long time. <laughs> and we're going to get uh, not very much gold from that, honestly. It's kind of an odd amount of gold to get. But anyways, uh, maybe it's based on my income. It probably is. Okay, uh, so having done that, um, let's see. Investment-wise, I think... Continuing to get uh, import routes is not the worst idea. This is Terran Domino. There's a lot of resources, so I'll eventually want a ton of import routes into my capital province. I think for now, that's probably the best way to use these investments. Let's get that going in Yamato. And then, uh, let's see. We re-raise up to 7, not up to 8. So I don't think it's actually necessarily... But then again, we'd have to re-raise. I guess the thing is that if we were to lower and then re-raise, we'd be re-raising not from our manpower pool. So we'd be re-raising with full strength infantry. What do we have at the moment? Yeah, this is we're not going to recover very fast at all with our current manpower. I think we need to lower. What's our timeline? Eight months? That's actually not that bad. Okay, in eight months we will attack uh, Futa Kata and... Uh, I guess possibly then go into attacking the other folks over here. We'll see. Alright, the name placement is still a little goofy, but at least we control a bit more cohesive of a territory now, so I'm happy with that. Also, let's not forget. Alright, do some of this. All these forts our economy is gonna struggle to get going but we'll eventually um, be able to make use of all these forts uh, to their fullest extent I mean at the moment I don't know if it's worth it to keep all these forts but uh, I've got them so far so I may as well commit to it 
I'm getting enough money from selling into slavery. So I'm, I've got like a weird economy right now where it's like, instead of a regular economy of getting money from income, it's just bursts of money from um, selling into slavery. And that's basically where all of my money is coming from, which is a good arrangement for this scenario where I've got so many different tags to fight because each tag is another set of nobles. No matter how prosperous the tag itself is in terms of its territory, it's the same number of nobles, more or less, so it's a reliable way to get bursts of money. All right, so um, now we wait for eight months, and we proceed. Ooh, I want my, my stuff. I'll trade with, let's see, I'll, I guess I'll trade with, uh, with Sua for now. That's going to improve my economy a fair bit, actually. I'm also going to lower my army maintenance, and I guess I'll lower my fort maintenance while I'm at peace. It's risking it, right? But it's going to save a little bit of money. It doesn't actually save very much money. It's Yeah, you know, let me keep fort maintenance up. I don't want to mess around with uh, low garrisons, and because uh, you never know when something funny could happen. Even one fort being seized by the enemy unexpectedly could be a huge problem. Bitter feud. The court is bustling with sycophants, claimants, and pretenders. It is of little surprise, therefore, that two of the most ambitious claimants to the throne of Yamato have found themselves at odds. These conflicts have a way of getting out of hand. Perhaps we ought to step in and limit the potential for escalation. This is uh, my primary heir, Yamato Mati, and another heir, Yamato Iwai. Uh... If these guys rival each other, I don't think that's a huge problem. I will go ahead and let them fight. That's fine. I mean, from the roleplay point of view, Kore is thinking about very soon being able to get his daughter set up as the clear successor, which will resolve this dispute, in, in theory at least. So he's fine to let the, the claimants fight each other. Not going to be too bad for the state. I guess we'll see if that's true or not, but hopefully not. Ooh, 24%. Ratio is super good. Hmm. How's my city coming along over here? It looks like it should be in a year and a few months. Alright. Good stuff. What's going on on the mainland? Zhao is grown, uh, Chin is grown as well. Very, uh, very interesting. Nothing too unexpected. Hmm. All looks about what I would be expecting for ten years in. Got a Asan doing quite well up here. Hmm. Population-wise, I don't need to be too worried. I easily outnumber anyone in terms of integrated pops on the islands. I will for a while. <laughs> Still have positive trend. And this is without uh, the sacrifice going, which is just really inexplicable. <laughs> I don't know how this is happening, but I am on board with it. What is a uh, Futakata doing? They're carrying their army off somewhere. Maybe they're returning home. Are they fighting someone? Oh, they're actually allied with Hadi. Oh, that's perfect. That is a perfect little ally for them to have, because then this is my gateway into the key province. Good work, Futakata. <laughs> You've made my life easier without even meaning to. All right. Um, I need 35, right? Yeah, I need 35. Okay, we keep waiting. I also want to build that city at Iwa, but uh, it's not a priority at the moment. Noble District in Yamato is done. Very good. Another trade route available. Can I reach anything interesting? Yes, I can, actually. Oh, I can reach one copy of stone. You know what that means soon. Um, okay. I think I actually want silk 
for the noble happiness and noble output nationally for surplus of silk is really good. I can reach Chin now, which is great. It's valuable and it's good locally for noble happiness. Excellent stuff. Let's do another one here. See, I told you that it was worth it to invest in Yamato like this. It's only going to go up from here. One month ago on that, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> really? Okay, well, that's fine. Thirty five, here we go. All right. Time to settle the succession issue once and for all. Familial marriage. In this manner of succession, the eldest child of the ruler will be the primary heir, regardless of gender. In order to secure a strong, legitimate bloodline, however, it becomes commonplace for royal siblings to intermarry, thus avoiding any chance for the lineage to be sullied. I'm not going to be doing any of that, because that's going to result in, I think, some negative traits. Uh, at least in Crusader Kings it is. I'm fairly sure in this game that would happen as well. But either way... Um, even as a two-year-old, Blood of Yamato, Firstborn, and Righteous? Righteous is pretty good for the ruler. Oof, man. Now, she could end up being quite the warlord. All right, I'm 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 so far impressed with uh, Ulsiyama. So we're going to go ahead and declare that she is the rightful heir, and everybody else can just get in line behind her. All right. <laughs> World's most readable UI right here. This is, again, because the mods are conflicting. Don't worry about this. Okay. There it is. Stability drop, that's fine. We got plenty of stability. And once this updates, she should be uh, given much more succession support as the legitimate heir. Her military is ready. 27th of January, okay. How's it going? Culture over here. Slowly. All right, let's get to it. Let's guys bring in Hadia. I guess I could have attacked Hadia, who I do have a claim on, but either way, it's fine. Um, let me raise, let me think about this for a minute. Let me raise and wait for the tick. I guess we'll, we'll go to Hadia first to secure this, although they'll be able to get to Wakasa, but I can just take it back. It's no big deal. They're going to get stuck on the... Well, no, they will. The, uh, the Yasu fort covers this, so they're going to get stuck there either way. Let's wait for the tick. We're going to wait for the tick as well, just to be thorough. Okay, let's declare war. Who do I want to actually declare on? I guess I could declare on Hadia. That would be that would be fine. The claim I got on Futakata won't matter now, but it, it, it's fine. This alliance wasn't there when I made that decision. It was not even a mistake at the time. It was the right call. Let's go for these guys so that we get the war score sooner, and they'll call in Futakata, which is perfect. So we're going to be going for Key. Here we go. And then just to make sure. All right, fleet maintenance is low, fort maintenance is on, that's correct. Okay, let's head in here and uh, get this thing going. Actually, let's just check this part. Okay, they, they both have partial. It might be worth it actually sending... No, I can't get it under siege, but I, I could get it... You know what, let me, let me do something kind of funny here. Let me send the cav. Well, hold on. Let me do it like this. Let me send my fastest moving units, the horse archers, up here to Tanba just to keep it from regaining up to full garrison because they're going to turn on their fort maintenance now. This 1k stack is, I guess, slightly exposed, but I'm not very scared that Fut Futakata has a 1k stack somewhere. <laughs> We've seen their 500 man stack, so this should be fine. This is a little weird, but I think this will save me a lot of time if I can keep Tanba from regaining. Um, 
their strength. I'm not going to be able to siege it with this force, but I'll keep it at 250 for later, which uh, works for me. All right, here we go. Fortress under siege, very nice. There's their 500 stack. They're not going to be doing anything with that force. This is part of the Ia province, that's right, which I have claims on. I do have claims on. Okay, good. All right, show me a breach, and I will do an assault. That is the way of things. These guys aren't even going to go for uh, Wakasa, even though it's completely open. That is interesting. The Antigonid Cause Waivers. We've somehow heard about this over on the islands of Wa. Antigonos' death has, combined with recent setbacks, fractured the stability of the Cyclops' kingdom. His heir and co-king, Demetrios, unable to hold together the expiring loyalties of his subjects, has abandoned much of the kingdom to the claims of the other Didoki, while he retreats to lick his wounds among Greek friends. Fortune is a fickle friend. Alright. The Asian Kingdom? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what? Alright, um, well, I gotta go take a look at... I mean, it's, it's a tradition on this channel to go look at Anatolia and, and hold your nose, but I gotta see what's going on over here with the Asian Kingdom. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Uh, it never looks good, but this this definitely doesn't look good. Where is the Asian Kingdom? They're around here somewhere. I can't even see them. Are they even on the map still? <laughs> I need to grab some binoculars to look for them. Okay, maybe I can find them by looking for them in the... No, it's not going to be that easy. Oh, here it is. The Asian Kingdom. No, that's me. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> Do they not exist anymore? Maybe not. I'm not seeing them flash on the map here. I think they're just gone. Okay, well. Interesting. Very interesting. Come on. Show me a breach. Come on, please. Supply shortage. Mm, I can probably... I mean, I, I'd win the, the assault. The question is, with my low manpower... I then have to deal with this. Is this recovering? Oh, this is no fort at all. Holy moly, I just realized. Yeah, because it's a port. Ah, okay, you know what? If I have to deal with two forts, not three, that changes the math a little bit. I'm going to do an assault. This is the war target. I need to get the war score going. Also, uh, before the assault finishes, statue of Yamato Kore. The people of Yamato have raised a large statue to our of our esteemed ruler, Yamato Kore. Though the statue is lacking in certain important areas, it would not be taken well if it were if we were to rip it down. If we leave the statue up, let us hope it does not get too well known, or it could become somewhat of an insult to the monarch. Um, Yamato, is this the nation of Yamato? My goodness, no, it's the city of Yamato. Local pop happiness for 10 years. I think... I don't even know... Well, you know what? I actually do need more happiness here. Let me go ahead and just uh, give it give it to them. <laughs> I mean, the the city of Yamato has definitely done quite well under Kore so far, so I don't blame them for building a statue. All right. Uh, we are grateful for this honor to the nation. There is a stacking of Harima no Kamo. All right, this is a Wa tile, let's not forget. Four. I'm gonna go ahead and gently loot, just because these are core population for me. All right, and then we can probably do an assault up here right afterwards, actually. Let's just uh, slide on up there. Let's see what we can get away with. All right, I, I didn't even notice this was not fortified. That actually makes this so much easier. Here they come for an attack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if, you, if you insist, I guess I'll... Uh, defend. I guess I'll, I'll be attacking in the forest, but uh, this is um, it's just going to be like a slightly slower stack wipe that they're going to experience. It's not going to be anywhere near a chance for them. A little bit of a ritual suicide right here by the AI. Alright. I guess if that's how you want to live your life. Let's just get this over with. And this is just a fort that they built. It's not a capital or anything, so... Then we'll come up to Futakata and get this thing over with. Perfect. I could have actually sent the horses ahead to save a day or two, but I think it's fine. And then once this is done, I think we then... No. I think we then want to um, 
lower and wait and re-raise because we're going to have more WAW population. Plus we need our manpower to recover. We've been fairly greedy with the manpower usage, so I don't want to don't want to go too out of control here. All right. Here we go. So for peace, I will be taking all of this. Thank you. All right. The Yaoi city state of Haria accepts our generous peace offer. Harian Ki to Yamato and Futakata Kaga to Yamato. I also think I neglected to actually set the policy over here. It's all Wa down here at least. I have all the Wa. You know what? This is perfect because I've got all the Wa sections of Kaga. So for now, um, acquisition wealth is actually not a huge deal. I guess I'll leave it at that for now. I guess I could change it though. Happiness here is actually really good. Um, what would I actually want over here is the question. I mean, local autonomy wouldn't be terrible, but... Hmm, what do I want up here? I guess Borderlands wouldn't hurt, because these guys are all going to be giving me manpower. Yeah, I guess for now, let's see. Okay, so the, the Freeman... And the tribesmen that we have up here. Three tribesmen. Yeah, that's a lot of manpower, actually, I could be getting if I went for Borderlands at the moment. It seems a bit strange, but it's not like I have much economy to benefit here, so let's see if we can squeeze a bit more manpower through, uh, through Borderlands up here. Alright. It says 16 now, so it may actually have made a difference, although this may be recalculating just by having the territory now. It's at the capital at uh, Tanba, which I guess is is okay. It is fortified, so that's uh, that's fine. I will destroy this port to make a bit of money. And yeah, I guess I'll leave the capital there for now. Over here, this is all gonna be Wa, so I guess I could go straight to Borderlands also for even more manpower. Suppose it wouldn't hurt. All right. And then I'm going to lower... Yeah, oh my gosh, 10 cohorts? For th for this? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a little more than I was expecting. I think we are in the clear. Alright, lower the levy. We get a donkey as well. The most powerful unit in the, in the game. I'm not even kidding, it actually is arguably the most powerful because it completely changes the strategic capabilities of your army. Okay, and we have a larger number of infantry too. That's 2.5k infantry right there. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, and then down here, this place does not need to be a... Because this will be my capital here for a while. This being fortified is not necessarily going to be the long-term goal here. I guess the question is, in this province, where do I want the capital to be? There's an... No, actually, that's hills. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, is Sato of gold in this game? No, it's not. This is a, a gold island in Total War Shogun 2, but not in this game. What's the terrain like right now? Okay, uh, Kaya is farmland. This will probably be a good capital location. Hills, hills, hills. It's like the only good location on this whole province. Yeah, we're going to be a little starved for good terrain here on these islands, but we got to make do with what we can. I guess this is fine. Diplomatically speaking, these guys are allied with Ki. Okay, that speeds things up over here. They're fighting Kaya. Okay. Either side will likely win without mercs, so guess we can just charge in once our army is ready in, in half a year. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to just roll the dice on this one and, and destroy this fort. This won't be a fort location uh, permanently. Okay, do we even have an economy still with the extra fort we got? Now let's decrease the pay. Actually, yes, I should say we do still have an economy. And then... Can I reach anything else yet? Uh, not really. Let's bring the livestock tray back for double livestock. Can someone get my extra fish, please? I have a lot of fish. I don't need this much fish. Okay, let us, uh... Let us proceed. Hmm. 22 per month? That's a big boost. If I put this onto, um... 
onto Borderlands, I'd get a crazy amount of manpower, but I don't think... I think having it on social mobility is still the way to go. This is a very early, like, noble strategy. Like, this is a little... a little much. Commercial venture is done over here. Perfect. Okay, um... I, uh, I could secure one copy of stone, but I think at the moment just getting more value is what I care about. Let's bring in more livestock for now. Hmm. Primary here, okay. So far so good. Succession is looking very secure. No one else has any realistic support. Well, okay. Other people have supporters, but um, yeah. Is that is that my wife supporting this other guy? I <laughs> what? What do you mean you support this guy? This is your daughter. What? Damn, that that's cold. <laughs> okay, in fairness, um, uh, Usiyama is a literal tiny baby, you know, two years old. So, I, I guess arguably, I understand the idea of supporting uh, an adult man instead of a, a little tiny girl, but. That's a little it's a little out of pocket. That's your literal daughter, and you're like, no, she shouldn't be the queen, not her. <laughs> Alright, the faith of Okada. Never has a more devout man existed than Sagano Okada. Our people clamor at the very door of the temple, demanding that we declare a feast in his honor. How should we answer them? Eighteen gold for six stability is an amazing trade, and two years of religious tech investment, and we'll go for it. Absolutely. Alright, this city should be done pretty soon. Yeah, September 24th. Then I'll build a port here and I can move my navy over there, finally. <laughs> It'll be about time for that. Well, he's looking amazing. This campaign's been off to a really smooth start so far. This has gone really, really well. And I mean, Yamato definitely has a lot of advantages in this mod, but I think I'm also playing pretty well. This is like the, the product of so many years and thousands of hours of playing Imperator Rome, modded and unmodded, so I think it's uh, definitely going pretty well. We're number nine in the world? Uh, I think last time I checked this I was at number like 32 or something. Wow, okay. I was not expecting to actually be in the top 10. Okay, Crete is number one and then uh, Wetulonia is number two. Okay, some of these are a little questionable. It's because of the um, the starting difficulty like modifier. That's why we're in the top ten, by the way. It's not because we're actually objectively the ninth best nation in the world. It's because for our starting situation divider, with that being kept in mind, we are considered the ninth best. And I like that this score uh, system actually includes starting situation divider. So this is a bit more of an accurate descriptor of basically like campaign success than it is of country strength, as it were. So, I am happy with that. Alright. Good so far. Did I? I did not. You know, I was just thinking that I thought I had... Huh? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Huh? Oh, right, she's she's a... that's right. She is not an adult, so I have to release her. I was confused for a second, like, why why can't I sell this character? It's because she's a 12-year-old girl, that's why I can't sell her into slavery. Alright, fair enough. Um, let's release these people. That... I don't know why, I just had a, a serious brain failure there for a moment. I was like, Am I, do I have the wrong thing selected? Like, who is this? What, what's going on? Okay. Go. Uh, that's close enough. Okay. Uh, I missed one. You are also a youngster, so you can get out of here. Okay. Um, there we go. And with this money, what can I do? Many things, but I think for now we wait. We want to build a port in 
Pilati as soon as possible so I can end my military access with these guys. I would just like to not have any treaties with anybody. And again, as tempting as it is to actually go for a, um, a shift over to Domination Stance, I just don't think this is a uh, this is worthwhile because of the loss of trade opportunities more than anything else. Simulation speed at the moment wouldn't do too much. Let's see. I think I think Mercantile Stance is probably the best, as it usually is. Twenty second of November. Okay. Hmm. Shin is already beginning their ascent, as they often do. No surprises there. Hmm. The coming of the city of Awadi. Our extension of new privileges and investments into the local infrastructure have seen Awadi grow from relative humility into a true Wa city. While it still has some way to go before it can rival the great cities of our age, the past two years have ushered in a new era of growth and urbanization in this territory. These are the best of times. All right, we get three citizens in Awadi for free, which is actually kind of crazy. Produces earthenware. Works for me. Okay, now, first things first over here. We are building ourselves a port so that we can move our navy over here, what we have of the navy so far at least. Okay, and then I think I probably want to save my resources for more city building. Remember, I'm going to need a lot of cities. Uh, where was it? Over here. No, over here. No, that's not it either. Where was it? Um, oh, it's over here. Here it is. Yeah, I need I need to build eight more cities, or, or have eight more cities. I guess I could... No, it has to be in Wa, so never mind. I was thinking maybe I could like do something clever where I conquer mainland territory, but no. I need to actually build cities in Wa, or have cities in Wa. Okay. Alright, um, proceed. I do have a lot of tyranny at this point, but so far, things are under control. Yes, more than under control. Things are very, very good. I also think at this point, uh, social mobility may not be quite as necessary anymore. I do still have some promotion going on. But I don't think I need it to be quite so quick anymore. Yamato has a big sort of upper class population. And I think if I were to switch this over to Borderlands, the manpower gain I'd get from that would probably be substantial. I have a lot of manpower room now. I should probably switch this. I've got the ratio set up here. We've got already a good amount of promotion. I think it's done its job for the very, very early game. We have a little uh, nobility core going on now. Let's get our manpower recovered. All right. What do we have now? It says 26. It might be a little more than that. I guess we'll see. What's our promotion rate now? It's a bit slower, but it's still pretty good. So I think that's fine. <clears throat> hmm. It actually isn't really enough to justify. I thought it might be a bit more. I don't really have... Uh, you know, I, I could get more, though, by building conscription camp over here. This would improve the manpower. Then the modifier... The, the multiplier would be on the mo the multiplied modifier, so that would, that would help. It's not that expensive to build these as well. Hmm. But I also have other things I want to I want to build too. Is there a citizen district? I'm trying to remember. I could also build shrines because this is a holy site. Yeah. Oh. Uh, actually. Yeah, this requires holy site. Actually, building a holy site in a wadi is, is something I want to do as well. But I got so many things I want to build. <laughs> It's a good, a good place to be in to have... Uh, oh yeah, Citizens Zared Ratio comes from the course of law, that's right. Um, I think it is probably worth it to build these for the citizen happiness as well. Yeah. Let me let me get... Oh, hold on, wait. You know what? Um, I do want more promotion. I've changed my mind. I'm not getting enough extra manpower for this to be worth it. I want more promotion. 
And then we're gonna we're we're going for tall Yamato province here. This is the strategy. Then I'm gonna build a court of law, the first one here. And more to come as well from that. We're gonna have so much money from selling nobles off, we're gonna be able to afford all these projects. Even with our bare bones economy, we're going for like the true like warlord economy arrangement here. <laughs> This is wild. So I think, yeah, we just got our army ready again. I think it was 22nd of November. Let's get back to it, I think. Um, increase the pay and time for the tick. Fort maintenance is at neutral, that's fine. I think let's go for it. Got the 5k army, look at that. Whew, man. And then something a little bit like this, all right. I got so much food capacity. Okay, let's recover for one tick and we'll get to it. Who's next? Probably Hadi. To bring in Key and then we just attack Kaya right after. We'll keep the fort at Kaya and make it the capital. Well, it might shift around though, is the issue. We'll wait to make Kaya the capital until we have the rest of the province, but we'll keep the fort there either way. And then the Tanba fort can actually probably go. I've changed my mind. I think this is close enough to my, my core that this doesn't need to be fortified. This will save me on costs a little bit. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that, actually, but either way. Let's wait for the end of the uh, end of the month, and then we'll go on in. Declare the war to take key, and then they bring in the nation of key as well. Here we go. Not you. You. Here we go. Do any of these guys have ports instead of forts? They do not. That would be convenient, but that is not the case. Also, they have a, a different fort design, which is interesting. It's like a slightly... It's very subtle, but it's a very slightly different design for the forts over here. That's odd. I don't know why they have a different design. It's like a, another... It's like there's multiple different Asian fort designs. Like, I don't mind it, it's just kind of unusual. I don't understand why these guys have a different fork design. Seems a bit random. Okay. In we come. These guys have... Oh, they got full. Alright, we're not going to do an assault without a breach. No funny business allowed. I mean, I do have two and a half thousand infantry, so maybe a little funny business is, is permissible. What's our rate here? 35 days. Ugh, all right. Um, let's let's give it one tick to see if we get lucky, and then we'll uh, we'll evaluate our, our options here. <laughs> hmm. right, Twelve years in, very good. I'm gonna put my daughter on the uh, on the thing here. Supply shortage. Well, I mean, we'd win the assault. That part's not the issue. It's just. I'm, I don't really have, like, a ton of extra manpower to work with. But I think if there was ever a time for risks, it's now. Let's do the assault. This gives me a fort on this side as well, for what that's worth. So that certainly doesn't hurt. This assault is hurting quite a bit. Ouch. We've got the sacking of Hattie. Remember, this is all Wa population, so we're going to only gently loot. Alright, um, and now I guess we... I wouldn't even... I'm gonna, I'll recover all my manpower just while in enemy territory. I'm not going to recover enough by going back. So let's just head straight in here and get this thing going. Oh, they got full as well. Can't be helped. We just got to work with what we have here. Each of these wars is probably worth lowering and re-raising because they're adding law population. All right. There we go. Hmm. Oh my gosh, 41.25% promotion rate. It's because it's a slave, they promote faster. That's that's a promotion in two months, or I guess almost two months, it's in three months. That, that's completely wild. Wow. That's, that's, wow, okay. That's just absurd. Yeah, all these slaves we're, we're sending to our capital or promoting... Like, we're, we're sending slaves back that are then promoting within months up to, like, freemen and, no and nobles and whatnot. <laughs> Whew, man. I can probably also justify building another one of these. 
I think I will add it to the queue. We're about to get two more sets of nobles. That's probably going to be maybe around 100 gold, so we can maybe even build a third one right after. We shall see. Hmm. What's happening with my loyalty? Do we have a decline? What's going on? Maybe like a little bit. Oh my gosh, the corruption here is a bit absurd. But the corruption shouldn't be affecting loyalty directly. It's not. I guess the tyranny is affecting loyalty. I guess I, the tyranny is affecting loyalty is what I should say. It's not even a guessing thing. That's one of the main things tyranny affects. Can I give free hands to anybody else in my officer corps? I don't think so. Nope. Show me a breach. I will be happy. Nope. Uh, I mean, I think we actually might still win this assault. I'm not sure about this. Let me let me give this a try. If I fail the assault, I won't be able to assault again. But with my numbers, I'll still be able to keep the siege going, even if all my infantry die. So I guess there's no reason not to try. Because if I fail, I'll, I'll just still yeah. That's actually exactly what happened. Okay, well, at least the siege continues. Port Noir is done, that's amazing. We can now go ahead and send these guys over here and tell these guys that I no longer need access with them. These guys are now black flagged, which is hilarious, but not for long. Okay. Finally, we have our first port for the kingdom. Very good. Kaya is on the move. What are you guys up to? These guys are fighting Aki. It's not gonna go anywhere because they both have uh, they both have only normal amounts of forces. Okay, yeah, we <laughs> uh, we uh, status quo. Here we go. The slow. Yeah, using all my manpower when I did it, I think was the right call because now each of these wars is a is a uh, uh, lower and re raise style war because I'll be gaining more um, raisable pop in my core region. So I think it does make sense to do it like that. I've not seized any more items, unfortunately. Three shorters, that's good. Okay, let's just keep it going. Slow and steady. That's the way we gotta do it. You know what? Um, how much assimilation has happened so far? Basically, not very much. What's the rate like over here? It's uh, it's going. This is with cultural assimilation. But you know, unrest is actually affecting it quite a bit. But. I think it is probably worth it to still have that going. I guess I could switch this over. I'm thinking about switching this to mobility as well so that Awari starts to gain more good population. But I think for now, keeping it on assimilation is the way to do it. Come on. I'm just getting a patronage of the arts. A High King is expected to be a patron of the arts. Artistic depictions of the High King cement legitimacy in the eyes of the people. Styled in the manner of popular gods and heroes, these sculptures, paintings, and murals are often worth their hefty price. Okay, um... I... You know, I, I, I've got positive legitimacy trend. I'm going to go ahead and say this is a frivolous expense, even though I don't mind having uh, money for legitimacy. I just wouldn't gain the last of a perk available. I wouldn't gain literally any legitimacy value from that. Uh, let's see. You know what? Um, if I remember correctly, military values is a permanent modifier. And this is really good to get. And my, my character was young when I started this tree, so I think he'll live long enough to, for us to get this. And that is permanent. Yeah, th this side is better, I think. 
but the side gets me over to this. So let me let me go for this. We're gonna get a naval treat for Yamato Kore with naval expansion. What did he get? Coastal Raider. Okay. Well, extra one monthly wealth is actually really really good. So I'm on board with that. Good stuff. The grind continues. Lovely. How's my daughter doing? Perfect health. Love that. Righteous is great for the future ruler. Okay. Come on, please. Food shortage. Yes. Good. Oh, man. Uh, we, we almost for sure... Well, not almost. We for sure won't win the assault. Yeah, I just gotta keep it going. Whew, man. I need to let my manpower recover pretty badly. <laughs> I think we're going to uh, lower and re-raise, but we're going to wait to re-raise for a little bit here. Yeah, we're, we're hitting the edges of our manpower capacity. Again, it's just because of our, our need for infantry to do these assaults. Like, you'd think this, like, city-state situation would make for a really easy opening. Uh, oh, we have another, another trader available now. What can we reach? Nothing of interest. I guess for now, more sheep. It's the most valuable thing we can get. Oh, please. Oh, defender's dessert. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna win, but I'm gonna try. Okay, it didn't, didn't go very far. But damage their garrison a little bit, so I guess that's, that's okay. Hmm. Alright, and then I'm thinking about the PI. Do I want to change one of my laws? This I need regional power for. How far away am I from regional power? 25 territories. I'm almost there, actually. This will be 23. And then another war against a duo would give me to 25, so... It's not too far away, actually. Defenders are off, please. I'm so close. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can count my infantry forces like on a few hands here. Not, not just two hands, but if I include my feet, I can get to it. That's gnarly. Court of Law and then Yamato is done. Very nice. I think I probably want to build the third Court of Law with the, the slave money. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> 278 days, that was brutal. Whew. Okay, what do we have over here, population-wise? Alright, that's a gentle loot. Right there. Okay, holy moly. Take this territory, please. Okay, my high king. The Yaoyoi city-state of Hari accepts our generous peace offer. Hari Ki to Yamato and Hari, or rather, a Ki Ki to Yamato. Into my prisons you go, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, ooh, yeah, 11. I said lower, thank you. One year, three months, because of how much damage the army took. That is fair, I suppose. I need to wait a while anyways. Okay, um, let's go ahead now. Lower army maintenance, and you know what? Um, because I feel no fear in my heart, lower fort maintenance too. I am just gonna go ahead and destroy these forts also. Got the oblivion music in the background, love that. Okay, what's our economy looking like now? 1.47? That's before any trading as well, that's pretty good. And then, let's go ahead and buy ourselves a court of law after we do a little bit of this. Okay. I'm aware the tyranny is going to cause some PI problems because I'm losing loyalty on my officers, but needs must. Enough. 
Let's build Court of Law. Make sure that our very good social mobility bonus is uh, fully effective in Yamato. If I wanted to be really a min-maxer, I'd also build the city in Iwa as a priority so that the social mobility would also have a huge effect there, but um, I've still got more than enough population in Yamato to redistribute. Okay, good stuff. As for the remaining PI, since I want to take a period of peace here, I guess what I could do... You know what? I should change my stance next. That's probably something I need to get around to doing. That's 30 for that. Let's let's wait for the tick, monthly tick. Or not, not wait, because we have to wait for it anyways. So let's... I guess let's wait for it is still the right way to, to say that. Let's uh, wait for the tick because we have to, and then we'll change our stance. That should make us a little bit of money. Okay. All right, 1.46. We're gonna go down to zero uh, relationship slots, but that's fine. Not even using one at the moment. Neutral stance, I think mercantile stance is the way to go, especially because we're conquering Wa population. And this conversion rate is, or assimilation rate is slow anyways. Okay, here we go. A mercantile diplomatic stance means that all efforts are focused on making new trade deals as well as increasing the profitability of existing ones. This has the following effects. National commerce income plus 25%, which brings us up to 1.66. That is actually kind of a little bit of an economy for our uh, little, uh, little kingdom over here. Okay, love that for me. And yeah, as for once our levy is re-raisable, it's going to be February of two... Uh, of, uh... February of 60... 64, I guess. Wow, okay. Hmm. Who's next, is the question. Probably Kaya. And then probably it'll be Aki after that. Oh, it's such slow going. But that's uh, what we got to do here. And either way, I think we've uh, done quite a bit in this episode. <laughs> the realm has grown enormously, and things are, I think, going pretty well. So either way, that's going to be it for this episode of the Yamato campaign. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.